And he's showing me the bad things that I was doing Amen. over here that I went through. I was quick to fall on my knees and ask God for his forgiveness. Amen. God. And I, at first I was, I regretted everything that I went through. But you know, you shouldn't regret. Whatever you go through in life, God has put you into that situation for a reason. So you can learn from that. Complaining is unmanly. The Bible says that complaining is unmanly. It actually says it's for whips. So if you're complaining, the Bible says you're a whip. This figures his manhood when he whines and whippers, the Bible says. So, when you pray to God, don't pray for an easy life, but pray for one that, pray for a life that you, you can endure and go through with, with Jesus being by your side. Now, I'm coming to the end of... Uh, my encouragement today has actually gone like as, as long as Allah. Is everyone still good? Sorry, children, he's hungry. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, burdens upon the Lord? Amen. Will you leave it with Him? Will you have faith in Him that He will sustain you? As the Bible says that He will sustain you. And uphold you. And take responsibility for your mistake. For your burden. Maybe you're carrying a burden of regret like I just said. Maybe you're carrying a burden of something you've done a mistake you had made before your family and before God. Now this was a burden that I carried for a while because when I was in Samoa, the only thing I could think about was how I let my family down. How I let God down because of what I went through. I regret it. And I hope that I didn't go through it. Because of the pain and the suffering that I caused my family. But the Bible says to cast your burdens unto Him. Amen. And don't just give it to Him, but leave it there. Jesus. So this is the line that 
that Jesus came from, from Bathsheba. But if you look at it, the Bible says that she was only there. The only reason she was there was because of lust, lies, adultery, and murder. Now how does that make sense that the Son of God was, was, was coming down in the line of an ancestry that was so corrupted? How does this make sense to us? And you may, you may think that this is impossible. But let me tell you, the reason why this is, this is possible is because God's love is so powerful that He can take your biggest mistake. He can take the biggest spirit in your life and change it into something so amazing and so beautiful that it wouldn't make sense to anybody. And that is the power of God's love. So it doesn't matter what you think about your problem this morning. 